So I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the speed faculty members to Dr. Vivek PD. I think it's Thank major you. Dr. Major Dr. Vivek PD. Thank you, sir. For scoring sir. rank number 10 in the Manasisya group in NEET SS Superficiality exam in 2023. Congratulations to you, Doctor. Thank you, sir. So can we know about your brief background history from where you started till date, your achievements and accomplishments? Uh, I have done my, uh, I have graduated my MBBS from Hassan Government Medical College, Karnataka, followed by MD Anesthesia in uh, Command Hospital Air Force, Bengaluru, followed by my stint in the Army. I was posted in Arunachal Pradesh and followed by which I am in Command Hospital, Chandigarh as well. Great. We have a lot of respect for people in military services. I mean, uh, from you. for past 20, 22 years, we have been seeing Doctors who have been in our part of institute, we have great respect for you, both for the fraternity and also for the services that you do for our uh, military services. <laughs> so, Thank you. so, can we uh, can we know? I mean, what inspired you to do a DM superficiality after anesthesia, and what you wanted to do, and uh, can you tell us something on that? Uh, sir, uh, firstly, I was heartbroken when I learned that critical care is uh, taken away from the anesthesia group. That was my uh, primary uh, focus. Now, I should say it was uh, next to second to pain medicine. And again, unfortunately, pain medicine is not available in DTSS. It's mm -hmm. available only in INISS, I believe. So uh, the motivating factors are not eligible in the rank I get or not available in the stream I have uh, achieved. But nonetheless, uh, I, I try to keep in touch with my speciality throughout. And uh, the exam was actually speaking on a trial, given on a trial basis. It was not my wholehearted attempt, but uh, I'm just uh, taken by surprise that I could score well. That means uh, there's a strong background uh knowledge and the wisdom about the speciality that you are in, that only then this rank can happen for true. this attempt. True, sir. True, sir. Very true. <laughs> so, now, uh, what is the strategy that you followed? How long you prepared? I mean, what is the kind of preparation you did uh, to go on with this exam? Sir, uh, I should uh, humbly admit that except for speed app, I had no source of preparation. And, uh, uh, I could. I I only uh, solved the question papers and wherever I could, I I had to brush up topics. I have uh, referred through the lectures accordingly. I did not do it on a very systematic basis because my workplace is very hectic. And uh, the key is to have a very good background knowledge and fundamental strength in the subject. I would say that that is that is the key. Any any kind of material or guidance won't come such a long way as much as uh, one's strength of fundamentals Correct. can. I would say. So, how many questions did you attend this exam? I have attempted all questions. One hundred fifty out of one hundred fifty. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. It was my trial attempt, so I I did not fear. Getting the negative. Nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. Give everything. Nothing to lose. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, what is the message that you want to give to the students who are aspiring for superficiality from an anesthesia background? Number one, never lose touch of your uh, subject. Number two, stick to your fundamentals. Number three, face the exam with an empty mind. Number four, don't decide your life based on the outcome of the exam. Number six is uh, always prepare for the worst, like our, always anesthesia does. It's preparing for the worst. And number seven is that uh, when you, in the exam, the I think I felt that the time is too much for the level of questions that came. Let me tell you, I had to attend the medical group in the morning and I believe everybody was delayed by around two hours in the medical group. So I, 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 we were hungry 
and get got foolish in the medical group for the morning exam, followed by uh, a delay to start the anesthesia group and were again hungry. So I, I slept actually one and a half hour into the three hours of exam. So what it says is, when you are facing the exam, it should be with an empty mind. And uh, each word uh, will represent something. Actually, I uh, I visited each question, say, uh, uh, thrice, around thrice I visited each question. So I heard from a senior colleague in the last day before the exam that you have to divide questions into three groups. One group is where you don't need options to answer. One more group is where you have to think between two options. That is one third, that is 30, uh, say one out of 150 questions. Uh, there are 50 questions which you know without options. 50 questions are where you have to decide between two options, where your think thought process has to run. And the third group is where you just don't know about that, but you can make an intelligent guess if you're willing to take the risk. So what you know straightforward, don't waste time. What you have to think, do waste time. And what you don't know, uh, calculate the risks of the negatives. And this has to run. Uh, I have I have run all the questions thrice in the three hours I, I was given. And uh, one more thing is that I I, I never be, uh, there were one more strategy which one of my seniors suggested and I followed is I never begin from question number one. Hmm. I begin from question seventy five and go to one fifty, and then begin from one to seventy five. And somehow, I don't know, it was my first attempt at NEET SS. And after a long gap, it was a computer-based exam. I'm from that batch of UG where PG exams were partly paper-based, partly computer-based. The software wasn't so well developed when I was entering PG. So this was, uh, you know, the uh, we need to get a hang of practicing to sit in front of a system for three hours, not losing attention span. That also is a major factor. And on the day of exam, it's an unknown city, it's an unknown weather, and uh, you know, God forbid we have technical issues, and we are delayed by two hours. So uh, your physiology is not supporting <laughs> your cognition. All these things will decide somebody's career if they choose uh, that to be the you know decider in their life. So technicalities on one side, and uh, you know, fundamentals on one more side. I would say so. So, any SS uh, has a straight to uh, critical care medicine. I mean, I mean, are you going to take up uh, this exam upcoming at twenty eight? Sir, I am trying to. I am trying to attempt uh, pain medicine. Uh, at the same, and uh, one thing I realized by attempting NEET SS medical group is, it's not uh, Harrison is not everyone's cup of tea. Uh, I left Harrison uh, at uh, at my UG after my UG level, and though. Anesthetists have been most of the critical care fraternity. Uh, what they learn after getting into critical care is a large portion of medicine. But uh, somehow the country's law decides that uh, the medicine guys don't need to know anesthesia. Though it is an acute care uh, philosophy and setting, medicine guys are very happy to do chronic medicine. But uh, anesthesia guys take a lot of time to get into the grid of chronic medicine no? where you need to the, the question of medicine group runs so long that I fell asleep for more, most of the questions. So that is one thing that hurt me even today. A lot of petitions and other, other things going on. Nonetheless, uh, my first target is pain medicine, but the strategy for INI may be very much different and pain medicine being a relatively new subject, getting into the depth of that subject for an anesthesia PG also may, may be difficult unless we, somebody has a fellowship background. So kind of feel betrayed there also that we need to know the pain medicine subject to write pain medicine. So uh, it's okay. Uh, everything is part of learning. It's all part of learning. what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Exactly. So. Once again, wish you all the best and all the success for the upcoming NESS exam and also congratulations for the performance, what you have done so far. Thank, you, sir. Thank, doctor. You, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I owe it to you and the uh, concept of Speed Medical uh, Private Limited to have a dedicated platform for doctors and to have a one 
bracket and one umbrella uh, services for these competitive exams. If not for that, probably we don't have much, at least for anesthesia. Thank you, doctor. Thanks for your great. Thank you very much. Thank you, doctor. It's a pleasure, pleasure speaking to you.